cruising down the street on my two feet because I'm walking a little bit and because this channel is influenced heavily by 1990s gangster rap music. Hey guys, my name is David Prater. Hey Austin, where are we going? Copenhagen, Denmark. Copenhagen. Welcome to Luton Airport. We went into one of these convenience stores, the WH Smith, probably my favorite one, and I found something that I haven't seen in a long time. I found Dr. Pepper for real. And I don't know what it is, the label just seems a little bit off, just a tiny bit. I also got this drink here, this uh, vitamin D, vitamin water, but better? I don't know if it's better. Still mango and passion fruit. This is lunch. Clear a path, everybody. We're headed to gate six. Next stop, Copenhagen. We landed, I'm waiting for Austin to get off the plane right now, and the weather is beautiful. This is not only my first international flight since I've been in the country, it is also the first country that I've been to that does not speak English. That was literally the easiest border control I've ever been through in my life. You walk up to a line, you go across it, you give him your passport, and you go through. The Danish know how to do it right. Here we go. We're taking the first steps into the city. Okay, yeah, no. It's great here. I don't speak a lick of Danish, but I like it. Less than five minutes here, and it's already kind of gotten Glasgow beaten for me. Sorry, Scotland. We made it to the hostel. We found it. We're staying at a generator, which is a chain of hostels. And it is nice. Wow. I just put all of my things up in the dorm room. One, they upgraded me from the eight bed to the six bed, so there's fewer people, but the same amount of living space. And two, each bed has its own individual outlet. So you can charge your phone, you can do whatever you need to in your bed, and I'll have to share with like 20 other people. So if you're ever traveling and you have an opportunity to stay in a generator hostel, I highly recommend it. Just grab the first food of the day. Pretty good. One of those weird healthy looking places, right? I got a nice salmon sandwich. Then I got a nice lentil salad after that. And I'm way too satisfied because we're going to go eat dinner very soon. What's Hold up, everybody? Hi. I'm happy to be okay. with you. Yeah. We've actually got kind of like a nice big posse with us for the weekend. And it's nice. It's cool. We're going to go find some food. And I'm realizing that the weirdest thing, one, is that I just now showed you that I ate food. And two, is the conversion rate on everything. It's confusing a little bit because if I'm in the UK, I can pretty much take any price and multiply that by 1.5 and say that's what I'm spending in US dollars. Whereas here, I have to say whatever that number is that I'm looking at, multiply that by 15% and that's in US dollars. I don't want to take out my calculator to figure out what I'm spending, but I will because I drive on the right side of the road and that makes me happy. It's pretty cool down here. I like it. I don't know why I always have to tell you that I like things. You don't care. Either you're going to like it or not. Whoa! We are scouring the streets looking for a place to eat, but none of us speak Danish, shockingly. I'm with Americans and Canadians and a Spanish woman and an Irish woman. We're all kind of bound by everything that has nothing to do with this country, which is awesome, but it makes eating difficult. That was so much food. That was amazing food, but it was so much food. Most likely, you will find me running stairs all night just to get into a state that I can fall asleep in. Because right now, I only feel the food in my diaphragm. And I don't think that's where you're supposed to feel food after eating. dropped into this genuine Irish pub. And you know it's genuine because they celebrate St. Patrick's Day on a sign out there. There's also an Irishman singing tunes. One of the weirdest things about being uh, 20 in this country is that they've been drinking since 18. So it's like being 23 in the United States. People expect you to know how to drink and order from a bar and stuff. And I'm like, I'm a child. Like, what is going on? I, I can't drink yet back home. And so, yeah, I'm from Canada and I, and I agree with this guy. He's been drinking since 5 p.m. <laughs>
I slept in. I set my alarm for 8.30. It was a vibrate only alarm because I'm in a hostel and I don't want to be mean to the people around me. Except I set the vibrate to off on all alarms. I'm gonna go meet my friends now at the train station. The first train that we're supposed to get on just like switched tracks at the last second, so we're getting on one 20 minutes later to go to a castle, or specifically what is commonly referred to as Shakespeare's castle, or Hamlet's castle. I don't know much about either of those people, but I know that one of them was real. Austin, describe your dish. So this is a Danish Kringle. Only here, it's not a Danish Kringle, it's just a Kringle, because we're in Denmark. It's a thin pastry, uh, very flaky uh, in texture, but there's also fruit as well as frosting, um, kind of baked right into it. It's quite scrumptious. You heard the man, scrumptious. Right across the bay. I don't know if you can see that. I'm gonna try to make you see it though. There's some land back there. That is Sweden. We made it inside the castle, or at least in like the quadrangle area. Look how amazing this is. Like this is actually, it is like actually amazing. Okay, I live in 2016 and I can't even make something like that. Like good on them. I wish I knew more about Hamlet and Shakespeare because I feel like I would get a lot more out of things like this if I did. We just got back into Copenhagen from Helsingor. Finally the sun's out, so the guns are out. I'm not gonna keep that in the video. We're about to go to this little open-faced sandwich place. It's called Schmorobro. The sandwich is not the place. It is the quintessential Danish lunch. I guess that's our Danish food for the trip. Really cool market we found here. Fingers crossed that this is where we're supposed to be for the food. So I ended up going with a smorgasbord and seafood. This is marinated in olive oil. It's like an antipasto seafood. We've got some octopus in here, as well as this open-faced sandwich on rye bread, and it has a few meatballs, and it's topped with chives, red onion, and some good potato salad. Describe the taste of that. It's really good. I mean, it tastes really like any other antipasto. That's really, really good, actually. I knew it would be. Like, there was no question, but they met my expectations. So for dessert, I ended up going with gelato, which is great. It's amazing. Lots of really good choices here, and it was hard to choose. On bottom, I got hazelnut, and on top, I got dark chocolate. So I made, like, Nutella out of this. Like a dark chocolate Nutella, and then I got a cream puff right on the top. <laughs> I lied about that thing being a cream puff. It was not. It had ice cream in the middle, not cream. Uh, cinnamon rolls, I think. But look at that. Like, it's all tangled up and stuff. Oh my gosh. How was your lemon cone? Baked it. Excellent. And how's your, your chocolate, Mr. Chocolate? It is, it is very rapidly melting on me, which forces me to eat it faster. But I'm okay with that because it's delicious. Oh, it's been a pretty busy day. Austin, my man here, is about to head out, but we decided to get some late night bites. Got a large pizza, gonna split that. And what time, like, what is your game plan for tomorrow, Austin? What time are you leaving? I will be waking up at 3.30. I will be to the metro station by 4.30 for a six something or another departure. So he's insane. We, we've established that in the Scotland video. He left at like three something AM to get a bus to the airport. But anyway, I hope you enjoy this quick bite of pizza. It's gonna be delicious. I'll see you soon.
night, I suffered from an allergic reaction. I don't know what it was from, since I didn't eat anything new to me beforehand. Probably a toxin from the octopus, if I had to guess. I woke up at 3 a.m., extremely itchy, and immediately broke out into hives. I went to the hospital. Because of Danish healthcare, I was given a cortisone shot, prescription drugs, and a bed for the night in the hospital, and wound up only paying for the taxi to get me there. I guess I should start supporting social health care. And I think I might walk back. It's about three miles away. I don't know. We'll see. Still wearing my retainer. I'm so good at maintaining orthodontic health. So I've been in bed all day, going to a grocery store to buy food to put in my body. They gave me some prescriptions that I need to eat food with, and I don't trust eating food that has been touched by other people anymore right now. getting a couple bananas, an apple, grapefruit, orange, a couple packages of grilled chicken ready for me to eat. And then I probably didn't need both of these, but I got a pretty big chocolate bar with hazelnut and this ice cream cone. Unfortunately, we don't have like any freezer or fridge, so this has to probably go inside of me first. It's good. I didn't know what to expect at all. Danish is a hard language. I am happy with my purchase decision. So I had that chicken, then I did the math on it, and I realized that I took down like 7,000 milligrams over the course of those two packs of sodium. So my stomach, I was wondering like why is my stomach kind of hurting and I realized it's because of all of that like I'm dehydrated now. I probably was before because they pumped me full of drugs this morning so I'm gonna chug some water probably eat the grapefruit and the orange I don't think I can eat the bananas tonight I'll save the chocolate for another time I'll talk tomorrow Good morning, good morning. Heading downstairs to go check out now. My stomach is kind of killing me. I think it's because I'm still dehydrated. I need to load up with water somehow. Also gonna get some good potassium in me when I take my drugs. Usually too big on this whole breakfast thing. I never really crave it. But since I probably only taken like eight, nine hundred calories yesterday, and I have had so much sodium in my body and like no water at all, I think water and potassium sources are gonna be a great addition to my morning. push to get the most out of my experience in Denmark. I went to a local bakery chain and got myself a Danish. Each pastry is called by the title of the pastry itself. And I went with this uh, director snagel. Really it was just like brown sugar plus chocolate icing. That was it. Buttery, flaky goodness. And now I'm about to head back. I'm going to get on the subway, head to the airport, fly away, get on a bus, and go back to my home. But this journey has been crazy, right? I really just hope that this doesn't put a bad taste in my mouth for trying new foods in general. That's kind of what this channel has become. If I can't satisfy that need for myself, like what am I doing anymore? Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, let me know in the comments down below, as well as hitting that thumbs up button. I would appreciate it. And with all of that, I'm gonna go. So yeah. Bye. <laughs>